Hey everyone, so here I am again with another reshade related GTA 5 tutorial with another question that a lot of people ask me which is how do I run GTA 5 and 5M with reshade? Now before I start I want to make some points on the previous video and add some new ones. The first one being when I use the DLL extraction method on the setup uh, where I held control you don't actually need to do this I just did because it's an habit of mine I am already used to install reshade via that method on all the games I try so there's no need to that you can install it normally as long as you follow the rules for the executables for the enb local.ini file and for the dll names if they're all named correctly and set up correctly like in the previous video it will work just fine independent of you extracting the dlls or not second point is that i tried to get enb to run with reshade on 5m but it doesn't work any other claims and videos of people that said i've been running it with enb they aren't true because I didn't see a video where the NB menu is seen anywhere and even some videos where they said that reshade was working with 5M also seems to be a little bit of a false claim because it doesn't show the menu of reshade running on some of those so you gotta be be careful not be careful but you gotta pay attention to see if the instructions really work with this method I tried they do work so let's go on to them now if you follow the previous video on the ENB and reshade installation all you'll need to do is rename dxgi.dll to d3d10.dll and it should work just fine when you start up 5M but if you didn't do that don't worry no need to panic I will guide you through a full reshade installation on the game all over again you don't need to panic all you gotta do is follow my instructions so first of all before we start installing reshade we gotta go to the GTA 5 directory and go to properties on the executables and set them to run as administrator this needs to be set to all four executables on the directory which is GTA 5, GTA 5 Language Select, GTA 5 Launcher and Play GTA 5. After that is done you can move on to the next step which is installing Reshade itself. Now there is a catch here you can either use the official version from the Reshade website or you can use the version I made on the discord which will be linked on video description now the difference between the versions is that the version I've compiled doesn't have the def buffer check for online games which is good if you want to use like ambient occlusion, death of feud or any death dependent effects I did this mostly for games that didn't require aim as a target to reach points or to give advantage so for games like Trackmania, Forza and even GTA 5 itself it's a, a feature that won't give too many harm to other players since it won't give you many advantages whatsoever so let's get on with it you gotta run reshade now it's the the thing I said earlier I prefer to extract the DLLs but you can just click and select the GTA 5 executable and then rename it to the xgi.dll if you're installing on a single player build or in this case now you will see how to rename it correctly so it works on 5m so let's do this once again we go here delete those because we won't be needing them and you see the DLL here we gotta go to the GTA 5 directory paste that rename that and it's installed mine already had a preset and a a folder setup so I won't be doing that 
in case you need more basic reshade setting up instructions, you can go to another video because there's lots of those around the web. I'm pretty sure you will find one that will help you. So now we'll go here and execute 5M to show that's indeed working. It might take some time to load. It's loading. Still loading. Got to be a bit patient on this one. I don't have the editing power to cut those parts of the video, so you guys will have to bear with it. I'll let a mark uh, to skip upload, so this won't be a problem. There we go. There we go. Okay, easy now. And as you can see, it's already there. Already there. If I press the key and the sign, it's all there. Now, I can't exactly show it in game because I didn't join any of those servers and I I kind of don't have any of the data downloaded, so I don't think I'll be able to show you guys this, but if you use the version I have left on the description, which has the the unlocked death buffer, then you will be able to see that it works with death effects online. If you don't, it will work normally like in any other reshade installation, but without death effects working online. So that's it. If you guys have any other questions, let me know in the comments. And I'll be also making other videos on Reshade, not exactly for GTA 5, but for other engines, other directory structures, and wrappers, how to use them, how to make old games work with Reshade, and lots of other nifty tricks you can use to install and make Reshade more stable and more satisfying to use in troublesome games let's say i hope you guys find this useful and see you next time